Welcome to the course registration video for undecided students. When your program of study is listed as undecided, this means you have not chosen a program of study, there are no coursework requirements, there is no guided pathway to follow, and a student is not eligible for financial aid or veterans benefits. While it's okay to start as an undecided student, it's important to choose a program of study. You may be wondering how to choose a program of study. Let's watch this short video that will share resources. Pima Community College offers many resources for students who are undecided about a program of study. Navigating from the college homepage, pima.edu, you can go to student resources, counseling, and then scroll to the career planning section. I'll highlight a couple of links in this section. First, the career interest profiler will ask simple questions to explore how your interests can be matched with career goals that you might enjoy. When you enjoy what you do, you're more likely to be successful. Next, in the Occupational Outlook Handbook, you can find easy to read information about many occupations, such as job summaries, the entry level education, and median pay. On our webpage, you can also explore academics and programs by areas of interest. Research our degrees and certificates by reading through the course titles and descriptions to get a better idea of what you'll learn to see if you might be enthusiastic about a certain path. Pima also offers student success classes in career exploration that transfer to all three state universities. STU 106, using a major and college success is a one credit course where you'll complete career self-assessments, explore occupations that suit you, and learn valuable skills for success in school and at work. STU 109, making career choices, is a two credit course that explores the same topics as 106. Plus, you'll learn the skills and strategies necessary to secure a job in the future. Click any course to see the full description. After using these resources, if you are still struggling to choose a program, Pima's career counselors can help. Information about how to reach out to a counselor can be found on our website. When you identify the program of study you'd like to complete at Pima, you can use the short video titled Change Program of Study for guidance on how to formally change your program. After the form is processed, you'll be able to find who your dedicated academic advisor is in my Pima. We hope that by spending some time reflecting on your interests and researching occupations that might excite you, you'll have a focus that will motivate you in college and throughout your life. You may want to take some time to explore Pima's programs of study, as you saw in the video. You may also want to take some time to explore University of Arizona's undergraduate majors and degrees. To reiterate, once you choose a program of study, it will be important to formally change it. As was mentioned in the video, you can find the request to change program of study form by searching the pima.edu website for change program of study, fill out the form, and then upload it in my Pima. One of the tools we use at the college is the advising syllabus. As a new student, you're in the connect phase of your educational journey. As you just learned in the video, exploring programs of study and choosing one is the most important step you can take at this stage in your journey. As you continue in your educational journey, you'll work with your division-based advisor to determine what classes to take to complete your educational goal. Of course, it's your choice. If you choose to remain undecided for now, that's okay. You can use your first semester to take courses you're interested in as a way to explore potential programs. Whether you are undecided or are in a program of study, there are many important resources you will use in MyPima. MyPima is where you'll register for classes, see your financial aid requirements and award, and find student resources. 
Once you change to a program of study, you'll also use MyPIMA to see your course requirements in my degree plan. However, until you choose a program of study, you will mainly use MyPIMA to find your placements, register for classes, and access your courses once they start. On this slide, you can see the types of courses that are in our programs of study, general education, core, and support. Once you choose a program, you'll work with your division-based advisor to figure out what courses to take. Some courses have prerequisites, which is a course required before you can take the next one, such as Writing 101. Some courses have co-requisites, which is a pair of courses required to be taken at the same time, such as Math 92 with Math 92 LB. As you get ready to register, you'll first search for classes in the class schedule. These are important things to know about the class schedule. Number one shows the CRN or the course registration number. Number two shows the meeting days and times. Number three shows the modality that the course is offered in. It could be in person, virtual, online, or hybrid. Number four shows the status, if the course is open or if it's closed. Number five shows the number of seats available and or if the class is waitlisted. Number six shows if there is approval needed. And next to number six shows if there are additional fees. Number seven shows if there are prerequisite or co-requisite courses. Now that you have some familiarity with the schedule of classes, let's watch this video to see how to look up classes and register for them. To search for and register for classes, log into your MyPIMA. Go to Students and register and pay. To search for classes, click on online class schedule and scroll down. Make sure you have the correct term and location. For fall 2020, most classes will either be virtual or online. You can scroll or type in your code. For the, this example, we'll be doing STU 100. There are additional search criteria you can use to narrow down your search and click search. Scroll down to find a class that meets during a day and time that is interesting to you. Please note, you will need the CRN number to register for the class, so please write it down. Notice the day, the dates, and the time. If your class is showing as virtual, it means you will be meeting with your professor and other students at that time virtually. If the class is listed as online, it is asynchronous and you will not need to meet at specific times. Make sure the class is open and that there are seats available. Come back to your MyPIMA and click on New Registration System and register for classes. Make sure your semester is correct and continue. There is a search function within this system, but is not as robust as the one we just showed you, so it is not recommended. Click on Enter CRNs. Enter the CRNs that you have written down and add to summary. You will see the course populate in the lower right hand corner. When you have listed all of your courses, select Submit to register for the course, and you will see a status here. If there are any errors, you will see these here. If you want to drop a course, Follow the directions, come to this list, select drop and submit. You'll see the status is dropped. To recap, you register in MyPIMA, students register and pay. In MyPIMA, go to register for classes and select the semester.
You'll notice here, you can do a lot of work through My Pima. You can view your schedule, buy your books, check financial aid, veterans benefits, or your account balance. My Pima is also a great resource to access your student email. You can access our library of short video tutorials on how to use our online platforms by visiting Pima's website and using the keyword search, Navigating Digital Spaces. As a student, you have responsibilities to be knowledgeable about your program, keep track of your progress, and work with your academic advisor. Once you change your program of study, you will have an assigned division-based advisor who also has responsibilities. They are responsible to assist you in completing your course requirements and to support you in completing your educational goal. After you formally change your program of study, you can see who your academic advisor is in My Pima, Students, Academics, and Pima Connect. You'll be able to schedule an appointment with them as this video explains. Hello, this is a quick student tutorial on how to schedule appointments through Pima Connect for any students who have already signed into Pima Connect and have created their student profile. At Pima College, the easiest way to make an appointment with members of your support staff is by going to the menu and choosing My Success Network. Listed here, you will see members of your success network made up of both staff and faculty. To schedule an appointment with someone, simply click on the three dots to the right of their name and photo and choose Schedule. Next, choose the type of service you're requesting an appointment for. Now you can choose the reason for your appointment. Click on Continue in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. Next, you'll see days and times listed with available appointments. Each day will contain a couple different options for appointment slots. If there is a particular date with no appointment slots available, that means appointments are full for that date or this individual is unavailable. Once an appointment date and time have been selected, in this case, Friday, July 2nd at 2 o'clock, hit Continue on the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. Now you will have an opportunity to provide a little more information about what you're hoping to get out of this appointment. Once you have typed in any information that you may want your advisor to know, you'll choose Confirm. The next screen will display a confirmation of the time, date, any meeting instructions in regards to how to connect with that individual, and any notes that you've provided. Here you can choose to make changes to your appointment, canceling or changing to another available time, return to the main service page, or view all your upcoming appointments. Another option to schedule appointments is to go to your menu bar and choose the dashboard. From the dashboard, you'll scroll down to My Connections. Under the person's name or photo that you want to schedule an appointment with, simply click Schedule. You'll follow the same process we did earlier. And finally, to schedule an appointment with someone you may not see in your Success Network or to find a particular resource, simply click on the menu button and under My Success Network, use the search button to find the resource or the person you're looking for. To review information for all upcoming appointments, again, use your menu bar and choose Upcoming. This will be a display of all upcoming appointments you may have over the next several weeks with any individual you've scheduled with. Keep in mind, you'll receive an email to confirm any appointments you've scheduled, and you can also review this information by going to your messages. You are now ready to begin scheduling appointments. Hopefully, this course registration for undecided Students. student tutorial on how to schedule appointments through Pima Connect. Hopefully, this course registration for undecided students video has helped you explore and choose a program of study. We're excited that you're here and to support you in your educational goals. And recording.